Hi, I'm Meta Mylene. How is that face paint practice coming for you? Are you ready for something new? Every time we add a new exercise, you can have more fun with your 20 minute exercise every day. Today, we're gonna do zebra stripes. Zebra stripes are combining what you learned from the teardrops and the reverse teardrop. I'm going to adjust my camera and we're gonna get started. Ready? We're gonna go down, diving, down, flipping around. Okay, here we go, the painty board. The zebra stripe. Just like we practice doing the reverse chair drops by dancing our brush on its tippy toe, the zebra stripe is as easy as drawing with the tippy toe and then laying the brush down and then picking it up. It's okay if there's a little wave in there. Zebra stripes are not all perfectly straight, but just practice. Dance on the very tippy toe edge. Now, if I danced on the tippy toe edge, you wouldn't be able to see it. So here's my hand. You're gonna to touch the tippy toe of the brush down so there's a dot. Tippy toe. Okay, right, I'll try it over here. Okay. Tippy toe, lay the brush down. And then tippy toe back up. And that's the zebra stripe. And then you can tippy toe next to the wide area and then lay it down thicker here and then pick it up. And then this is how you make a series of zebra stripes. So have fun today. You can follow the lines, stay in the lines, or just go off and just do it from different angles. Thin to thin thick to thin, thin to thick to thin. A line that is the same thickness is boring. But what makes a line interesting is when it switches from thin to thick. If you want to make your drawings or your paintings interesting, alter your thinness and thickness of your lines. And then I like to maximize my practice board space by going in between, just like that. These are zebra stripes, thin to thick to thin. And just like the teardrops, you want to do it short, thin to thick to thin, and do it long, thin, thick, thin. You will use this technique in the next few exercises, swirls and curves. You can practice being really thick, really thin. You can do them uneven, just as long as your line is alternating from thin to thick to thin. Thin to thick for a really long time and then back up to thin. Now, if you are not succeeding at making that thin tip, it could be you have an old brush or a bad brush. You need a paint a paintbrush that comes and stays at a tip. When you're loading up your paint, make sure that when you're pulling the paint, you never jam the paintbrush in, never put the paintbrush in point first on your paint. You want to lay it, lay it down. Lay it down and then pull across while you spin and rotate your brush around. That'll help maintain and encourage your brush to keep a sharp tip. But a poor brush will fail no matter how much you try to twist it and teach it to go into a point. Your brush needs to already have a point. You can even give a little wave in there. Do a curved zebra stripe. 
You can even do a reverse zebra stripe. It's thin to thick to thin. Practice at different angles. Going up, going down, going top to bottom, going from bottom to top. Really thin. It's okay to do little curves. Have fun with your zebra stripes. Remember, set some music on, watch a movie, and just paint. Have fun. Have a boot camp time of just doing your swirls. No, that's the next lesson. Swirls are the next. Swirls are exciting. These get boring after a while. That's why you need good music to listen to. Have you noticed that when you're painting, it's getting easier and easier to just paint on that very tippy edge of your brush? I hope you do. I tell you, teardrop practice and these exercises are going to transform your artwork. And by using a lined paper under your practice board, you can challenge yourself to begin and end in a given range of area. You can even reuse these boxes. Go thin to thick to thin. Thin to thick to thin, thin to thick to thin. I'm starting to run out of paint. So just keep practicing, keep moving that brush. The more you use it, the stronger your hand's going to get. Make sure you take breaks after every 20 minutes. If you are going to try to paint all day, the more you paint, the faster you'll improve. But a tired hand makes lots of mistakes. I'm going to clean my hands off now, put some lotion on them, give them a little massage, and that'll be for another video. Happy painting!